When a body was discovered in a dumpster fire, foul play was the initial assumption. Now that the body has been identified, it reveals one man's tragic story. News 3's Nathan Isbell has the latest details for you. Nathan? That's right. That's right. Since that body was found in the burning dumpster last week, many are wondering who the victim was and why this happened. The answers may surprise you. Firefighters were called to the Nottingham apartment complex on November 4th to extinguish a dumpster fire. To their surprise, a body was found inside after the fire had been put out. Fire investigators are now ruling the incident to be a suicide after finding no evidence of foul play in a note that the victim had left. Now with firefighters and police ruling the incident as a suicide, it's left many wondering just why. It would be really hard for someone to light themselves on fire inside of a dumpster. Um, you know, but obviously this was done on purpose, so yeah, it's pretty shocking. It the Nashville Medical Examiner's Office used dental records to confirm that the body of the victim was 32-year-old Justin Wong. Justin's friends say that he was overall a good friend, though he fell out of contact recently. The thought that it would be a suicide to me seems very unlikely, considering all the outlining areas, a lot of drugs, a lot of violence outside this little area, and it makes sense to me that that would have been a crime of drugs or something else. This incident, like others of its kind, leave people wondering what sort of factors could cause a person to take their own life. It can be anything. It can be a relationship, of, you know, somebody rejected them. It can be that they feel that they lost their job and there's no hope for them. But the bottom line is that you usually, people who kill themselves are not okay. Statistically, Tennessee has seen an increase of 15 percent from 2007 to 2008 in the number of suicides due to several causes ranging from employment to more personal issues. Reporting for News 3, I'm Nathan Isbell.